<laughs> it's so small. It is, it is. Yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, let's taste it. So what do they got? They give you, the, this is Khmer sausage. afternoon guys today is our last day in Siem Reap um, we thought we would go for a little walk around and have some street food so I got a little bit of a list of um, just some foods that we want to try and find and if we can't find them not a big deal but um, yeah there's a couple on here that we're gonna go for a walk around see if we can find them uh, so the first one is Nam Pang it's like a banh mi kind of sandwich similar to what they have in Vietnam and then there's um, bamboo sticky rice. So from what I can tell, it's just like a bamboo shoot with sticky rice in it. Sounds pretty interesting. We're gonna try and find it. And then obviously they have a lot of barbecue here. So um, might try some like barbecue skewers of some sort. Barbecue beef for Sarah? <laughs> Not for me. Ah, uh, bro, you gotta, you gotta expand your horizons in a foreign country, don't you? Yeah. Deep fried bread and shrimp cakes. Sounds so, great. out of the list, we'll just see what we can find and go from there. That's it, and uh, who knows, we'll probably find some other uh, exotic uh, Cambodian style food as well. Yep. These trees with the little coverings on them are pretty much everywhere in Siem Reap. It's, um, it's really cool and it just makes everything just a lot prettier to look at. Like it's not just kind of like boring old trees, they've all got um, ni nice colours and stuff to look at on them. Yeah, yeah, and they're stretchable as well so that they don't hurt the trees. And yeah. when it gets later as well, they're... There's some lights on the trees, but they also have um, like fairy lights on the uh, the light posts as well. So mm. once it gets dark, it gets very pretty. Yeah, it is. It's such a pretty city. Like we are loving it here. Pretty neat. <laughs> This thing, it's pretty cool. It's like a water, water meal? I don't know what they're called. I, yeah, I'm gonna call it a water wheel. I don't know exactly what they're called. Yeah. Remnants of the past. Pretty much. The night market we're just gonna yeah now go for a walk and see if we can find some of the food on the list yeah yeah so this yeah. is the the food market the yeah night food market night food market so mm -hmm. it's on our side of the river on mm -hmm. the other side is uh pub street and uh the old market yep so hopefully there's some uh cambodian delicacies here that we can try enjoy and uh that's it yeah that's all i needed to say <laughs> we Let's might say. We might even just ask some of the street vendors what they would recommend as well in terms yeah. of Cam Cambodian Khmer food. Well, there's pizza over there, so... Yeah, that sounds Cambodian as. Good thing. Curry 
okay. Yes. Traditional like Cambodian food. Yes. yes. It's, it's Cambodian food. Um, mm -hmm. curry and the fried eggplant, lokla. Yes. Lokla. Yeah. Maybe should we just try some like fried eggplant? Yeah, Thank you. Suits him. First on the agenda was Nam Pang, which is similar to a bar mi. Mm. But uh, the ladies told us that it is more of a breakfast uh, meal, so maybe we can grab one in the morning. But uh, what we've ordered is fried eggplant with chicken yep. to share. Um, so we're just going to get small meals so then we can um, just taste them all and uh, see what we like. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Okay, time to try some fried eggplant with chicken. Yep. Let's see here we go. Two forks for me, none for Sarah. <laughs> That's quite nice. Is it? Yes. Yeah, nice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> That's nice. That eggplant with chicken thing was so much nicer than what I thought it was going to be. It was really delicious. Sugar? Yeah. No, no, no. MSG? Yes. Yeah. This one, um, sugar. Sugar. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, chicken? Chicken? We have only this one. This is chicken. Is it? Chicken sausage? Chicken sausage. And that's Khmer sausage? Yeah, sweet. Mm. You want to try one of those? What is that? Tofu. Tofu? Oh, ah, okay. yeah. Okay, cool. Steam that. Okay. Can I just get uh, one tofu and Thank you. And I have one Khmer sausage. Are these? Uh, are they in the river? Yeah, in the river. Oh, oh, nice. It's cool. Ah, oh, very cool. <laughs> it's so small. It is, it is. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh, taste it. So what do they got? They give you, the, this is Khmer sausage. Um, mm -hmm. Just got it from a street vendor. Looks like um, some kind of coleslaw s you know, sliced up cabbage, carrot kind of thing in the bottom, for whatever reason. It tastes really weird. Is it? <clears throat> it's got a bit of spice to it. There's some serious sauce on it. Obviously the sausage has got a mixture of things in it. It's not my favorite. That's all I've got to say about that. <laughs> what have you got, Sarah? So I got a tofu skewer, and the cup has a little Pikachu on it. It's so cute. Hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously nothing in that shop really appealed to me except for the tofu. Tofu. Um, so yeah, we're gonna give this a go. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Good. It's cool. Yeah. What kind of um, like a chili? A chili sauce like on Like a it? sweet chili sauce. Oh, nice. But with like something else. Oh, no, it's really, it's really nice. I like it. Well, the uh, the man did say they marinated in chili and then mm. something special that the sister made. <laughs> so we don't know exactly what it is. Special sauce. Special sauce. Mm.
We're just walking through Old Market and oh my god, there's some smells in there. <laughs> yeah, well they have the um, they have the food market in the middle and mm. uh, it looks like it's closing down at the moment. So there's yep. a lot of rubbish on the uh, floor, so mm. be careful. <laughs> Spring rolls. <laughs> Over here. What's in them? Chicken. Chicken, okay. Beef, okay. Up to you. Chicken, please. Yeah, yeah. one spring roll with chicken. Yep. Yeah. spring rolls and they look good but they're super hot so Frank's gonna give one a go <laughs> and then he's gonna let me know if they're too hot to eat they're delicious and they're not too hot oh. they were um, being handmade in front of us so that's always really cool to see making when they're making the food right in front of you Ow. <laughs> they're hot Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's so good. These are probably the best spring rolls I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I agree with you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna grab some ice cream. I've been wanting to try these ice cream rolls since we got to see Emery pretty much because I've been seeing them everywhere and now there's a street cart of food right here with the ice cream rolls so we're gonna hit it up and see what they taste like. Nice. So we've ordered chocolate peanut butter and we're gonna share it. beeping and there's just like 12 people that have gotten out of the back of this ute here <laughs> only in Southeast Asia Chocolate, chocolate and peanut butter, and Oreo smashed on top. Any good? Yep. So good. <laughs> it hits the spot. <laughs> yeah. You love it. Oh. oh. Mm. But it's definitely uh, delicious. That's yeah. It's so yum. Uh, situation there as well um, because you've got US dollars and reels some uh, vendors won't accept you US dollars because they don't have a change for them. Just a little bit of side information on reels and USD here if you have USD you want to make sure that it is in mint condition because if you use USD in Cambodia or if you have it and you want to use it in Cambodia and it's got like a slight tear it's bent it's got a mark on it they won't accept it. So you want to make sure that all of your USD coming in here is 
mint, 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 like and proper it, condition. And it needs to be brand new as well. Yep. I don't know the exact serial numbers, but if it's mm. uh, an older build, then they won't accept it either. Yep. So. Yeah, to be honest, we have mostly been using real because it's just, it's easier than worrying about the USD note. enjoyed watching this um, video of us trying some street food unfortunately it didn't really quite work out how we wanted it to work out like we had a plan of the foods that we wanted to try and we just couldn't find it anywhere but we still tried some really good food and like all the food here in Siem Reap that we have had lunch breakfast dinner has been well, really good well my sausage wasn't too good oh yeah hot, your sausage but of 99 percent of the food we've had has been mm. delicious so yeah, yeah. Um, uh, alrighty guys so tomorrow we're off back to thailand getting on the bus again um so we'll take you with us to that but please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and we've got our memberships open now so if you are interested in that please um do sign up if you're not interested that's cool too we're not going to hold it against you no um there's also our instagram at frank and sarah uh we're posting daily um mm. so you can kind of get a sneak peek of uh what videos are up and coming yeah so what are we going to do now go home pack and have a sleep and get ready to travel again tomorrow Alrighty, guys see ya see you guys bye